you seem to have a good working relationship with uh, Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What makes that relationship work? I think it's the fact that um, we're willing to make the best fights happen. We're willing to take risks. You know, I mean, if there's no risk, there's no reward. Um, and and that's, that's, that's been our philosophy for many years now. And um, I'm, I'm glad that there's somebody out there like Eddie Hearn who <coughs> understands that. You know, people, people want to see the best product uh, that we can possibly give them. And, um, and, and Eddie, Hearn, Eddie, Eddie Hearn shares that same philosophy with me. So uh, it's, it's always a pleasure working with Eddie Hearn. Now to a little of the spicier stuff. Dana White is somebody who, who you don't get along with. Um, <clears throat> what's the genesis of that butting of the heads with you and Dana? You know, uh, I, I, think, I think Dana has obviously done a wonderful job in building his business. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact, the fact that Golden Boy Promotions uh, or Golden Boy uh, uh, wanted to explore, um, you know, the MMA world, uh, maybe rubbed off a little, you know, the bad way, in a bad way to, you know, on, on Dana White. He didn't like it, but it's okay. Um, you know, I mean, that's Dana White for you. Um, I strongly feel that there's a tremendous, tremendous opportunity in the MMA, in the MMA sector. Um, I'm going to continue pursuing it. Um, I believe that, uh, that there's, there's, I'm going to be very bullish in, in pursuing it. I strongly feel that, uh, that MMA is, uh, is a sport that is continuously growing at a rapid pace. And there's, uh, there's obviously more room for, for, for growth there.